stay really tuned into that weather with all these changes. Two problematic motels, one vacant, another drawing dozens of police calls over the years. So the village decided to do something about it. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas takes us to Glen Ellen, where village leaders said enough is enough and bought the properties. Despite the cold and snow, Okai sushi owner Yen Tang says he loves his location on Roosevelt Road. What do you think about this area? There's good areas, good the people. What he doesn't love? The motels across the street. One of them has been a vacant eyesore for years. But just behind that, the same owners kept operating a motel in this separate building. Where CBS2 reported in 2016 on a man with a gun fighting with another man. And just in the past two years, police blotters describe disorderly conduct, theft of vehicle parts, possession of controlled substance, and more. For Tang, the vacant building is bad enough. No nice for the city. The properties have been on and off the market multiple times over the past five years. The village got tired of waiting for someone to buy it, so they bought it for $2.85 million. Uh, what's the square footage here? This is 2.2 acres. Village president Mark Senek says both buildings will be demolished this spring. And then? Our desire is to partner with private development to try to determine what is the best use of this property. Senek says the purchase will give the village more say on what's built here. He's planning to see at least some business development. One of the considerations is we're going to look at affordable housing for this location, but that's one of many options. And until we hear from the residents in the vicinity, no decisions have been made on what to use the, the property for. The owner of a nearby camera shop told us in an email, any plan that the village has for the redevelopment will be an improvement. As for Teng, It's good for the, for the city, I think, for the, this area. He'll be happy when these buildings are gone. Tim McNicholas, CBS 2 News. The village president says that about 2.8 million comes from the village's reserve fund. His team will be taking some feedback on the plans over the coming months. And for more stories like this one, and for updates on this, you can download our CBS Chicago app and look for the section Morning Insider.